Hello, this is Attorney Patrick Silva. If you're watching this video, you're probably not in a real happy place right now. The reason I say that you're watching this video because either you or a loved one have been charged with spousal abuse or domestic battery or domestic violence. It's known by different names. Now, there's a lot of problems that happen with this particular charge. And there's a lot of motivation behind the charge on why a person might make a false statement to the cops. So let me give you a couple of examples. Let's say that there's a husband and wife and they have a little bit of a tiff and the cops come out, the wife called, and all she has to say is, hey, guess what? He touched me. Now, if you say, yes, I touched her, but because she was blocking the doorway, you're going to jail. If you say, yeah, I touched her because she was in my way, so I just moved her gently, you're going to jail. If you say, I pushed her, you're going to jail. If you say, I hit her, you're going to jail. These are called admissions, admissions of guilt. Now, why would a person, and, and again, I'm not picking on the wife, but a lot of times that's the person who's making the claims. Why would a person say, this person hit me? Well, if you're going through a divorce and there's a custody battle, guess who's going to have the advantage in the family law court? It's the person who's bringing the charge that there's been some type of spousal abuse. If you get arrested and you're sitting in jail and they throw at you, hey, guess what? You can get out, just plead guilty today. Well, you gotta go to work Monday. You're gonna plead guilty. You say, oh, I don't have to do no jail time, pay a fine. Guess what? Two months down the road when someone files divorce papers on you, guess what? You're gonna lose your kids. Now, that's an unfair advantage. A lot of the allegations that are filed in family law are false allegations, especially when it comes to issues of spousal abuse. What can you expect? So let's say that there's an allegation of spousal abuse, but you're not home. Well, you're gonna get a phone call from the other party and they're gonna say, hey, sweetheart, what's going on? Oh, I'm just trying to get over the fact, you know, why did you hit me the other night? Well, guess who's listening on the other end? The cops. So when they record that statement, you just made another admission. What do you mean I hit you? Well, I, I barely touched you, right? There's a lot of problems here. So a domestic battery, a spousal abuse, domestic violence isn't always like it seems on the face of it. There's always the backstory, the motivation story. There's something happening in the relationship, the breakdown of the relationship. And if you, if you hit her, then you got a problem. Or if she hit you, then that person's got a problem. The main thing is be quiet, assert your Fifth Amendment right, don't say anything, don't make any admissions. We live in a very punitive society right now. If they think, and they be in the government, think you committed a crime, well, guess what? You're gonna have the weight of the government thinking you're guilty. This presumption of innocence, that went away in the 1970s. People are so jaded, they don't care anymore. You're guilty unless you prove yourself innocent. It's not like it should be. You're presumed innocent unless they prove you guilty. Hopefully this hasn't scared you. This has just kind of enlightened and opened up your eyes as some of the problems that you might be facing if you're watching this video. If you're watching this video, it's because you landed on this page in regards to domestic violence. Now, domestic violence, we can handle that charge. We can do it in San Bernardino, Riverside counties. Very skilled attorneys doing this. If you just want to sit down with me, give me a call at 909-798-1500. I'll give you an hour of my time. I'll direct you in the right direction. This is Attorney Patrick Silva. Have a great day.